Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about some practice problems involved in uh, finding the area of circles, sectors, and segments. Let's get going. All right, first problem. I need to find the area of the shaded region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the center. I'm given uh, two tangents with uh, both side length of 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to identify the center of the circle. And then I'm going to draw a line from the intersection of the two tangents to the center of the circle. So here is the center of the circle. And again, my goal is to find the area of the shaded region. I'm going to draw a line here. And then I'm going to draw two radii, both the point of tangency. And that gives me a couple things. It gives me a <clears throat> central angle here with a measure of 120 degrees. So I've identified this, the measure of this arc is 120 degrees, and we know the measure of the central angle is equivalent to the measure of its intercepted arc. Uh, I know that I've bisected this angle here, <clears throat> so I have 60 and 60 uh, degrees for those two angles. I know that uh, a radius to the tangent line at the point of tangency is going to be a right angle. So I've created uh, two 30, identical two 30, 60, 90 triangles with tangent length of 12. So now I can figure out the length of the radius. Uh, this is the side opposite the 30 degree angle. And then this, the 12 length, uh, 12 unit length is the side opposite the 60 degree angle. Well, I know that X times root three is going to be 12. I can determine that the side length of the side opposite the 30 degree angle is gonna be four root three. So now I can figure out the area of this triangle and then subtract the area of the sector to get the area, at least one half the area of the green shaded area. So let's find out the area of both triangles combined and then let's subtract the entire uh, sector area and then we'll be left with the green area. Okay, so the two triangles are going to be uh, one half base times height. So I'm gonna say two times one half, the base, which is four root three, times the height, which is 12. Two times one half gives me one. So four root three times 12 gives me 48 root three. And that's the area of the two triangles, including the shaded area. And now I wanna subtract the area of the sector. Now the area of the sector has a central angle of 120, so it's one third of 360. So let's figure out this is one third of the entire area. I have a radius of four root three, so it's gonna be four root three squared times pi. Four root three squared is gonna be 48, so four squared is 16 times root three squared, which is three leaves me 48, so 1 -third of 48 leaves me with 16 pi. And so the area of my shaded region will be 48 root 3 minus 16 pi. All right, let's move on to part B of this question. All right, in 18B, what we're trying to figure out is the area of this region here, which is the entire circle minus the two segments. So what we're gonna do is we are going to figure out the area of the entire circle, and then we're going to subtract the area of the two segments. All right, so let's see, well, we can figure out the area of the circle pretty quickly. I have a diameter of 12, Radius is uh, going to be six, so half the diameter. So my area of the circle, or the area of the circle is going to be 36 pi, pi r squared. Now I need to find the area of the segments. That's the trickier part. So I'm gonna draw a radius from here. And again, from the center to the end point of the chord. And I end up with two equilateral triangles with uh, side length of six. Now we recall from our prior lesson 
that the uh, area of this triangle, this uh, equilateral triangle with a side length of six is gonna be nine root three. But in case you've forgotten, let's just go ahead and reconstruct uh, that area. So I end up with a uh, base of six and a, an altitude of three root three. So my area is gonna be one half for each of the triangles, one half of six times three root three or th one half of six would be three. So three times three root three. is equal to nine root three. So I know the area of the triangle here is nine root three. And then we also need to figure out what the area of the sector is. Now the area of the triangle uh, subtracted from the area of the sector will give me the area of the segment, if you recall from the lesson. So the area of the sector is going to be one sixth, this is 60 degrees, one sixth of the total area of the circle 1 sixth of 36 pi is going to be 6 pi. All right, so now 6 pi, area of the sector, minus 9 root 3, gives me the area of the segment. And so all we have to do now is just subtract uh, 2 times that, right? So two times six pi minus nine root three is gonna be 12 pi minus 18 root three. All right, so we end up with 36 minus 12 pi minus 18 root three. Remember to distribute the, and it's gonna be 36 pi by the way. 36 pi minus 12 pi plus 18 root three gives us 24 pi plus 18 root three. And that is the answer for the area of the entire shaded region, which is the circle less the two segments. Okay, moving on to the next problem. This is one of my favorite problems uh, to do. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the area of the triangle here and then also the area of the shaded region in green, the shaded regions in green. So uh, the book calls for us to find the area of the triangle second, but we're gonna find that out first in pretty short order. So what we're gonna do is we understand that the height is 10 and the base is 24. The area of the triangle is one half of 10 times 24, 120 square units. So again, I have a height of 10, a base of 24. My area is one half the base times the height or 120 units squared. Right now we're gonna have to try to figure out the area of the green shaded region. So this is what we're gonna do. Now follow along closely so you don't get lost. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the area of the small semicircle, so the area of the small semicircle. We're gonna add that to the area of the larger semicircle, um, and then we're gonna, we'll just call this the medium semicircle. And then if you notice here the area that's not shaded all the way across both uh, the small and medium semicircles is a semicircle itself, right? So I have a semicircle right here. You can follow my pen, all right? So I have a semicircle, let's call this from A to B. That's the large semicircle. I have a semicircle from B to C, that's my small semicircle, and then my medium semicircle is A to C. So what I wanna do is find the area of the medium semicircle A to C, the small semicircle B to C, and then subtract the area of the larger semicircle A, C to B. Actually it would be all right, uh, A, C to B. All right, so, uh, and then I'm gonna add back the area of the triangle. Okay, so let's go through this step by step. And actually, let me go back. Uh, some of you might be asking, okay, why are we adding the area of the triangle back? All right, so what we do when we find the area of the smaller semicircles, we find everything to the right-hand side of BC, and then uh, the area to the right-hand side of BC, and then uh, when we find out this area of the semicircle 
the medium semicircle, we find out the area of everything below the segment AC in terms of area. When we subtract the area of the larger semicircle, we're including um, this portion of the triangle, which wasn't part of the original equation um, for both the small and the medium semicircle. So we're subtracting something that we shouldn't subtract. But we're doing it just because it's easy to find the area of the semicircle. So we need to add this value back in in order to compensate for the fact that we took it out and we really shouldn't have taken it out in the first place. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the area of the shaded region is equal to the area of the medium semicircle, which has a radius of 12, plus the area of the smaller semicircle, which has a radius of 5, uh, minus the area of the larger semicircle, which has a radius of 13. And then we're going to add back the area of the triangle, which we already determined is going to be 120. So let's just make sure that we're, we've got this right. So the uh, radius of the smaller semicircle is 5, or half of 10. The radius of the uh, medium semicircle is going to be 12. And the radius of our larger semicircle is going to be 13. So I just corrected a mistake that said 25. Should have been 26. I have a 5, 12, 13 triangle. That's how I figured out this length here. It wasn't originally given. So 5, 12, 13 multiplied by 2 gives us 10, 24, 26. Radius of the larger semicircle is going to be 13. Okay, so I have the area of the medium uh, semicircle, which is going to be one half the area of the entire circle with a radius of 12. Area of the small semicircle, one half uh, of pi times 5 squared. The area of the large semicircle is one half pi times 13 squared. And then I'm going to add back in the area of the triangle. So here we go. So area of the one half of the medium semicircle is going to be 72 pi. One half of 12 squared times pi is 72 pi. Plus one half of five squared pi gives me 12 and a half pi. Uh, and then I'm going to subtract uh, one half of the, or the semicircle, which is a larger semicircle, one half of pi times 13 squared, which is 84 pi. And then I'm going to add back in the area of the triangle. And that gives me 72 pi plus 12.5 pi, which is 84 pi, minus 84 pi plus 120, ends up being 120 units squared, which is the same area as the triangle, believe it or not. All right, so this is why this is one of my favorite problems. You come out with a pretty unique answer. The area of these two shaded regions here is going to be the same area as the area of the triangle. Okay, moving on to our next problem. Circles inscribed in a rhombus find the area of the shaded region if the diagonals of the rhombus are 30 and 40. And we'll identify this. The shaded region here is in red. So I have a diagonal here of 30, so 15 and 15, then 20 and 20. And I'm going to figure out that the area of the rhombus. So what I want to do is I'm going to figure out the area of the rhombus and subtract the area of the circle. And that's going to leave us with the area of the shaded region. So the area of the rhombus is going to be uh, 1 half times, and I'm using the area formula for a kite. And I could also add these four triangles together. But the area of uh, the rhombus is going to be 1 half of the product of the diagonal. So 1 half of 30 times 40 gives me 600 units squared. And then I'm going to use uh, the measure of the altitude here, which I find uh, by drawing a radius from the center to the point of tangency, creating a right angle. And then I realize that I have a right triangle that's in a 3, 4, 5 dimension. So I have 3 for the 15 length, 4 for the uh, 4 length, and then 5 for the hypotenuse. So 3, 4, 5, 15, 20. The length of the hypotenuse or the side of the rhombus is going to be 25. And then I go back and I recall the altitude and hypotenuse theorem, which says that the, uh, the height or the altitude squared is equal to um, 
is equal to the product of the two uh, segments that form the hypotenuse. Now I could work it this way or uh, more simply what I could do is I could take the two equations for the area of this triangle which are the base or 25 times the altitude which I'll call x um, and we know that that equals uh, actually we, we know that equals some value and then we also know that one half of 15 times 20 is the same area. So we have two areas for the area of the triangle. One is one half times 15 times 20. So one half of the height here times the base gives us the area of this triangle. And then the other way to find the area of the triangle is one half the altitude here times 25. So now we can solve for the altitude or x. One half of 15 times 20 is equal to 150. So one half of x times 25 is also equal to 150 units squared. And then we solve for x and we end up with x is equal to 12. All right, so now if x is equal to 12, we know that the radius is 12. And we can find the area of the circle, it's pi r squared. Pi r squared, or pi x squared in this case, would be 144 pi. So now we can figure out the area of the shaded region, which is the area of the rhombus minus the area of the circle, which is 600 minus 144 pi. Okay, that's it for uh, this edition of Otten Math. All the problems are complete. Please come back and join us when we talk about uh, the ratio of areas in the next edition of Otten Math.